This is Read Align, Do Align Cooking.com. My name is Mike Pierce. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my home. Today we're going to make hard boiled eggs. That sounds simple and it is, except I seem to screw this up a lot. So the basic way this works, you take a saucepan, you put some eggs in it, you cover them in water, cover them by about an inch of water. By the way, if any of your eggs float, throw them away. That means they're bad. So anyways, you do that, you apply heat, you put it on high, once it starts boiling, you go six, seven minutes, turn it off, you run them under cold water, you have hard boiled eggs. Except they don't peel well. So I tried a bunch of different things and then I decided to buy these. These things are stupid, these are called egglets. I will show you what they are just because I have them, so you might as well take a look at them. Open them here. This is it. This is what you get. You get four of these things. And they're like this. You unscrew them, you put your stuff in, your egg in, and you close them, and you boil them. Just as if they were real eggs, okay? Now if you read the box, it says, crack, boil, and pop eggs out of the non-stick silicone pad. Okay, that sounds great. The instructions say something different. I don't know if you can read this. What it says is, Thoroughly and evenly coat the entire inside with cooking spray or oil. That's not what the outside said. So I didn't read the instructions and I just made eggs in them and had to use a butter knife to scrape them out of their non-stick silicone pods. They don't really work very well. They are kind of dumb. They only cost 10 bucks, but they're still a waste of money. The only reason I can think you might want them, I realize this is not a product review, but we're going to cover it anyways. The only reason you might want them is if you want to do other stuff, like scramble the egg, put it in, put in some cheese, put in some ham, put in some pepper, boil it, and have a kind of a scrambled hard boiled egg. I don't know. I think they're dumb. I'd take my 10 bucks back in a heartbeat. <clears throat> so, so then I post on Facebook, having trouble. I make eggs, hard boiled eggs a lot. A lot of times they won't peel and piles of suggestions. Everybody's got a way, got a method, a trick, a secret. And I tried them, so I'll tell you some of them. It was use brown eggs, not white eggs. It was use old eggs, not new eggs. It was let your eggs come up to room temperature. It was put the eggs in the water in the, uh, the saucepan and don't turn them on. Let them until they both kind of, give it an hour, till they're both at the same temperature, then turn it on. Okay. Uh, it was don't boil for six or seven minutes. Once it's boiling, turn it off, put the lid on, let it sit for 15 minutes. Okay. How about let it boil for two minutes and then let it sit for 10. Turn off the heat, let it sit for 10. It was put vinegar in the water. It was put sugar in the water. It was put uh, salt in the water. Fine, whatever. Tried it all. Okay, no, no, no. It's actually, the, the, what you really need to do is how you cool them off. It's the ice bath. It's the cold water. It's whatever. I think I tried every combination of just about everything I could find and almost every time it was the same thing. I boil six, four or five of them are fine, one or two of them won't peel. Over and over and over and over again. So then, talking to my buddy Jason, been buddies since first grade, and he tells me I need to buy a pressure cooker. I'm like, yeah, I don't want a pressure cooker. Why do I want a pressure cooker? He goes, you want a pressure cooker to cook eggs. I'm like, they're a hundred dollars or you know, $89, $99. He's like, yep, you want one. So I bought one on his recommendation and I'm like, it seems dumb to me. And he says, yeah, we call it our hard boiled egg maker. That's it. That's all we use it for because we've tried other stuff. We don't really like it much. So this is what we bought. Let me show it to you. This is the power pressure cooker XL, which is essentially the same thing as an easy pot. It is just an electronic pressure cooker. It looks about the same as an easy pot. I don't think they had them when we got these. These are a few years old and so I started making hard boiled eggs in them and it's really easy. It works fine. And they almost always come out perfect. I, I'm sure I've had some that didn't peel because I've probably had this thing, I don't know, three years or so, but I can't think of any. It just always seems to work. So I hate to show you things using gizmos you may not have, but this gizmo works pretty well. I'm not actually a fan of the pressure cooker. You're going to see me try some stuff because I bought two cookbooks, two or three just on pressure cookers. So we'll, you will try some stuff, but I've made spaghetti and chili in it so far. And I prefer doing that in a crock pot. I made, well, not the spaghetti, the pasta sauce, whatever. Anyways, 
I try to pot roast in it, I prefer the oven. So at this point, it really is just a hard boiled egg machine for me. But it works really well. And I'm gonna, I'll use the cookbook and we'll try some stuff and I'm sure there's other reasons. People seem to really like these things. So far, I just like it for hard boiled eggs and since I make them at least once a month, I think I've gotten my $100 worth. It's not like the egglets where I want my money back. I'm fine. I'm happy with $100 or $89, whatever it was, to make hard boiled eggs. That's it. So anyways, let's look at the down camera and I'll show you the basic parts of it. Okay, so you got this little thing here. This is closed. This is lets the steam out. That's all that matters. This is closed. That's open. Take it off. This is the steamer tray we're not using. This is some rice stuff we're also not using. And this is the power cord that's kind of important. All right, so I'm gonna plug that in. And we'll plug this end in. There we go. It's on. So all you do, add a half a cup of water, which I already have pre-positioned because I'm a professional, sort of. And I'll get that out of the way. And I've got my eggs. We're doing two different kinds of eggs because I've got some I got to use up. So put the eggs in. My memory says this thing will hold 11 eggs, which is an annoying number because eggs come in dozens or 18 packs. Set that aside. Go we'll make some more. Because I'm really making hard boiled eggs. Like this isn't just a demonstration. This is what I wanted to do today, among other things. And I almost always have one egg crack. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm going to stop at ten. That's a less annoying number. So there it is. So all we'll do, put the lid on, put the lid on and hit go. In this case, I believe it's the rice risotto button is what we're going to be using because we want about seven minutes. So I'm going to move a camera so you can actually see the front of this thing and then I'll turn it on. Okay, I moved my pressure cooker over here so it would work a little better. We'll plug it back in. And we're on risotto and it's going to start heating up. Just a little further away. So what happens is this light goes round and round and round as it's building up heat and pressure. And when it's done, then it starts its timer. So right now it's just heating up and in a minute we'll have something. And I'll just stand here. For some reason, I've always had to play with the lid a little bit to get it to seal right. It's probably defective in some way and I've just never bothered to return it because it would be a pain. So that's what you just noticed. It's sealed now. It's a sound thing. There we go. Now we're at six minutes. So we just wait. Well, there you go. So this thing is done. Unplug it. Pull it a little further away from the wall and hope it doesn't fall over. So all you do now is flip this thing. It's kind of loud. Here we are. Let me move my other camera so we can see it. So all we would do now that the steam is out is just unlock it. Open it and see what we got. I don't even see a cracked egg. One thing I forgot is this. This is a bowl of ice. Add a little water to it. 
you move this a little bit out of the way, put the ice water right in here, just pop them out. So basically that's it. We've got our 10 eggs currently sitting in ice water, which should stop the cooking and we'll cool them down and the shells should be pretty easy to peel off. So what I'll probably do is let this sit a while and maybe in about an hour or so I'll peel one. We'll see how it goes. Be right back. Okay, so the eggs have cooled and the eggs have dried. What I always do is I'll take one of my, oops, one of my containers and I'll write on it what it's going to be. So let's toss them in. We're going to keep a couple out while uh, try and keep one new and one old in case it matters. There we go. So that can go in the fridge. So while you guys were gone, I made a salad which was the whole point of making the hard boiled eggs. That's the only reason I make them is I like them on salads. So we've got a salad, we've got that. Now we're gonna find out how they peel, except I didn't think about it. So we'll do it right here. This is one of the old eggs and this is an Eglin Best. You guys seeing this? Oh, hang on, let's move that. You seen, watch this. Whoop. That's it. It's shelled. Let's try the other one. See if we're gonna get as lucky. Okay, let's see. Looking pretty good. Yeah. Two perfect eggs. Give them a quick rinse. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry them off with my handy hand towel. By the way, this is an egg slicer. They're cheap and they're worth having. But the only thing left that we need is some pepper. There we go. Hard boiled eggs, perfect, right out of the shell. Even the yellow parts look good. There's no greens and gray. Worked great. So anyways, we're all done. If you like the video, please like the video. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Until next time, thank you so much.